What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Today is the day we show off one of the strongest Pokemon in the Series 8 meta. We got ourselves a nice little Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with that Life Orb item. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And I can't believe it took me this long to actually show off Ice Rider Calyrex. I just feel like the other legendaries were more appealing to me. So I was like, let me show them off, and then we'll get to the Calyrex, Ice Rider, and Shadow Rider later. But we're finally here, and we got this amazing team to show off. Rocking out in our front spot, starting off in that top left corner, we got ourselves Galarian Moltres. This team is full of meta Pokemon, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks like it's just going to dominate. Moltres has that Berserk ability, the Weakness Policy item, and then a normal move set for him with the Fiery Wrath, Air Slash for Sab, Nasty Plot to set up and protect as its final move. Right next to him, we got that Light Clay Regilecki. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby, yo, Light Clay, I love it. I love it so much. We got the Light Screen, Reflect, Electro Web, Volt Switch, Transistor, and then, like I said, the Light Clay item to make our screens go eight turns instead of five. Beyond my face cam, we got Cartano with that Assault Vest with the Beast Boost ability, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Aerial Ace. Most of these Pokemon you guys seen before, same thing with their moveset and their choice of item and all that good stuff. But Top of Vinny right next to him with the Misty Surge, Leftovers, Muddy Water, Moon Blast, both stat moves, Combine to set up, and then Protect as our final move. Bottom left corner is Incineroar, great support mon in VGC. Intimidate ability to drop physical attack. We've got that Figgy Berry to give us a little bit more HP when we go down. Flare Blitz, Taunt, Parting Shot, and Fake Out. Then in the final spot, the only Pokemon here that I have not used yet. We got Calyrex Ice Rider. We got the As One ability, so it gets two abilities. I think it gets Unnerve and something else. I forget what the other one is. Oh, Unnerve and Chilling Nay, which is amazing. And then we got the Life Orb to do a little bit more damage. It's Psychic and Ice type, so we got Glacial, or Glacial Lance for its uh, stab move, and it's a double hitting move. Very, very strong move. Close Combat for our coverage. We got Trick Room in case we want to set up or counter Trick Room. And then High Horsepower as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex team. We got ourselves a great first battle coming at you guys. It's Ice Rider Calyrex on my side versus his Shadow Rider Calyrex. Hopefully we can pick up the W for battle number one. He also has Garchomp, which is a cool Pokemon and is getting me more hype for the Diamond and Pearl remake. He has his Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, Mimikyu, and Urshifu alongside. Um, how should I play this one? I kind of want to get that uh, Regilecki in there. I really do like Regilecki, considering I could set up screens with him. But then I got to remember, he has ground type with the, uh, with the what's it called? The Garchomp. Intimidate is definitely going to have to come out here. I'm probably going to lead my Incineroar. That's a solid lead. He has a lot of physical attackers with the Garchomp. I think what's it called is physical too. Maybe sometimes Zapdos, because it rolls Drill Pack sometimes. But then it rolls T-Bolt. Usually they're more special now that I think about it. But he has a Garchomp. He has a Mimikyu, and he has a Urshfu, which are and Grimstar, which are all physical. So we're going to lead Incineroar. Uh, do I lead it alongside with, with Calyrex, or do I go Regilecki? Let's say I go Regilecki, potentially set up some screens, roll out with Calyrex, and then in the final spot, we can go Tapu Finny. Yeah, I think Finny's going to be the call. Tapu Finny, baby. Let's run it. Let's get after it. Oh, dude, Moltres does rock out here as well. Now, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna stick with my we're gonna stick with my first call. But, yo, ever since the Diamond and Pearl remakes have been announced, I cannot stop thinking about the teams that I want to use for my playthrough and for the story mode because I love all the starters. I legit do it. I cannot really decide, like, who to pick because I want to get Infernape. He's not my favorite one. He's probably my least favorite one out of three. Like, Infernape's cool. They're all cool. But he's, like, the only good fire type in that game. Unless I add more fire types, I might have to go with Infernape. But... And Polan is my favorite, so I really want to go with him. But at the same time, I really want Floatzel on my team, which is the water, like, squirrel thing. Beaver, I don't even know what it is. But I really do like that Pokemon, so that's the reason why I wouldn't go with Empoleon and go with Torterra. So I think I'm deciding between Empoleon and Torterra. But let me know in the comment section down below what team you guys use when you play Diamond and Pearl or what Pokemon or team you are or want to use in your upcoming playthrough when it comes out. Seriously, love to know. Give me more ideas of what to use. It's going to lead the Mimikyu and the uh, Grimmsnarl. But I am just going to fake out the Grimmsnarl. And I am just going to drop a nice little Electro Web this turn. Just to slow them both down and uh, I can set up a Reflect next turn. He is minus one. He is minus one. Fake Out comes out. Mwah. Get the little collapse keys on that thing. Waste a turn there. And I wonder what Mimikyu is going to go for. Electro Web's going to pop. Who avoided it? Who avoided it? Please say Mimikyu didn't avoid it. Come on. I just wanted to knock off that thing's disguise. I really just wanted to knock off that thing's disguise. I don't know if it's going to come out here. Okay, that's totally fine. But that thing's just here to pester around. All right. That's fine with me. I could parting shot out now. Which would be totally fine with me. I'm going to parting shot onto you. And then I'm just going to electro web up again. So I want to get rid of this thing's disguise. I really do. I'm going to say, hey, yo, Mimikyu, knock it off. 
not dealing with them. Then I gotta get rid of it next turn. Which I can just get out Caldrex after this. Be able to roll. Yeah, it's gonna be a play. Party shot into Caldrex, potentially Dynamax and roll. I'm liking it. Your boy's liking it. Your boy's really liking it. But yeah, back to the Diamond and Pearl. Like, last night I was just on my phone, like looking up Diamond and Pearl, uh, Diamond and Pearl Pokedex. Like I really like, dude. I love Empoleon, but yo, I really want Floatzel on my team. So I'm, I'm leaning towards like going to Terra, Floatzel, Star Raptor, uh, maybe Garchomp on the side, Lucario, and Rapid Dash. That team sounds good, doesn't it? But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping they add a few more fire types. Because the only fire types in that game were like Infernape, Rapid Dash, like no new ones, which is kind of whack. It was Infernape, Rapid Dash. Um, who else was there? Was that it? There was Camerump and Macargo. Camerump's pretty cool, but I usually use them in my Gen 3 playthroughs. So I think they should totally add another fire type. If not, I'm going to go probably Rapid Dash. And will there be forms of Rapid Dash? It'd be pretty cool. But we part and shot out. I'm going to go into uh, my boy right here, Calyrex. And I'm going to set up a Reflect. I think Reflect is going to be the player. These guys are all minus. So I can Dynamax and definitely get off a uh, Chilling Nay boost. It would be lovely. I'm going to Dynamax. I am going to Hailstorm over onto you. Actually, Hailstorm would definitely take out that Grimmsnarl. Oh, I can't... Oh, yo, I could do this. I could do this. Oh, yo, this is going to be the play. Ready? Watch this, guys. Watch this play. Watch this play right here. He's going to set up a Reflect. That's totally fine. Can I get a double Chilling Nade boost here? If I pick up a double KO? If I pick up a double KO, can we get buzzing with this? I think Grimmsnarl goes down to this. I don't think we have to worry about Grimstone surviving. A speed dropping on them, and you outspeed me? And never mind, we're not Dynamaxing. We're not Dynamaxing. Him. What a whack. Why is he outspeeding me? That's my real question. See, it's, it's, is Calyrex really that slow? Let me pick up KO on Grimstone at least. Mm. Don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. It's a little, that, that hurts my feelings, man. Doing this again. And I am going to set up a reflect here. That hurts my feelings. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> he really gets a burn on me. I feel like without the burn, we we take out both of them. He's going to fake tears up on me. Hey, yo, come on, man. He's going to take me out here? Let's drop my special defense. Is that thing special attacking? I doubt it. Maybe he's got to be physical, right? Why fake tearing up on me? He's going to play rough. That's a, that's physical attacking. I just like he eats. We're chilling. Okay, so good thing we did not Dynamax Calyrex. Calyrex should be able to pick up the KO here onto you. Yeah, eat. Did we get the double kill? We do. Do I go up plus two now? That's the real question. Do I go up plus two? I think I might. With the double kill? So we may boost it, or is it just a solo? Attack a rose sharply. That's plus two. That's plus two. I think sharply means plus two. But we are still burned, which I do not like one bit. And I am minus two on special defense, which is scary. Bro, I love, I love Calyrex just on the back of a glacier. There's just little legs on the side of him. <laughs> it's like right below my face cam. You just see his one little, it's like a little stick leg. He looks like he has stick bug legs. But he's going to roll out into Urshfu. Um, I do have a flex setup already. And he's going to roll out into his Calyrex. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm totally fine with that. Because now I can set up a light screen. Or do I electro web first? We go into that. Good Trick Room. Trick Room might come in clutch for us. He has rather fast Pokemon. So I am going to try to try to pull off this Trick Room. And I'm going to set up this Slate Room. Like, let, me, let, me, let me just check speed real quick. Let me just check speed before we really go into it. This type of finish is going to have to be my Dynamax Bond here. I think Trick Room will benefit us more. Yeah. We're going to go for that Trick Room and we are going to set up a Light Room. I get screen set up for my next two mods to come in here and win us this match. But he is going to Dynamax to Calyrex. Totally fine by me. So I think my Calyrex goes down before anything actually happens. But I, I am going to be able to set up a Light Room. So I think it's going to be a 2v2 situation. I will be able to get off an Intimidate on the Urshfu. He might... I think he's going to protect that first time. Oh, but he's going to get... He's going to get boosted, though. This Calyrex is going to get boosted. Light Screen comes out. That's what scares me. Is he's going to get boosted up here. Urshfu's going to go. Oh, he's just going to go for Phantasm over on Calyrex. Calyrex goes down because it's minus two on special defense. And it's super effective. So he gets a boost of plus one. Not a fan. Not a fan. 
There goes my defense, and he's just gonna come in here with a, I say, a wicked blow, take me out, and it comes down to a two v two. So Grimnay is popping out. E. Not a fan, dude. Not a fan whatsoever. There's a uh, oh, certain strike. Oh, this is the water one. It's a water one. I did get off my screen, so that's totally fine. Wow, powerful shot. That was only one out of the three. <laughs> okay. So now I gotta get on my boy who's paralyzed, but we do get off and intimidate, which is pretty big for us. I could fake out, but Top of Finney has to get the sign max. Gotta die max, gotta get puzzled with it. Get it. Incineroar coming out here. Uh, do I still uh, go for the fake out onto that slot? That might be the play. Do I still go for the fake out on that slot? I do not know. Or do I go for the parting shot and predict the protect coming in? I think we fake out. I think we have to fake out that. Then we could Dynamax. We could go for Starfall. Starfall would be nice. Hmm. Would I rather have the rain? No, rain would help him out more. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to get after his Cadillac slot. So I could see Urshfu protecting. I really don't want to double up into it and waste a full turn like that. This one's going to be tough. But I probably... We're, we're probably going to see if it's a Bandit right now. If it's Choice Bandit. Because if it doesn't protect, then it's Bandit, right? Or maybe it's just not rolling Protect. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's just see what happens here. I wish I had Protect on my Urshfu. Well, not my Urshfu. My Incineroar. Let's think, yo. Only if, only if you had five moves per Pokemon. Every every Pokemon would be rocked that would protect. Every Pokemon would have protect, and everything would be a lot easier. But then the battles would be a lot harder, in my opinion. Let's see what happens here. Here goes the fake out. Okay, so he might be banned. I kind of wish I would have taken him out. He's going to slow us down. Which we're already slow enough. Which I kind of like that. I kind of like how he went for that. We're already slow enough. You already outspeed us, bro. Man, I wish I would have took out that Urshifu now. He's going to take out my what's called next turn. First few flinches. Starfall coming out here. We're going to set our terrain. It's going to be a real close match. This doesn't do too, too much. We should have just went after that Urshifu, man. Just went after Urshifu. This thing is leftovers. Okay, let's uh, let's take out the Urshifu here. I mean, if I can parting shot onto you, that would be lovely. But yeah, we're going to get rid of Urshifu right now. This one's going to be real close, because we take out Urshfu with the shot, and then he loses Dynamax, and we have one turn out of Dynamax. This one's going to be super close. I think it's going to come down to my top of Finny versus Calyrex. We got ourselves a good one here. Here goes the Phantasm over onto top of Finny. Okay. Top of Finny's able to eat pretty well, and our defense is going to drop. Incineroar's going to go down here, and Urshfu's going to go down. Okay. All right. And the defense drop isn't going to do anything to my top of Finny once the Urshfu is gone. Close combat comes out here, so this thing's definitely dead. So he, he knew I was taking it out. He knew it. He knew I was I was over him. So he's just like, I'm going to drop a close combat, drop my defense, and take out a Pokemon before I go out. So smart play about him. And now it comes down to the 1v1 situation. Where it's my Finny versus him. No, no. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Um, I could set the rain. Would rain be a little bit better for us? Do I set the rain? Or do I keep going for... Oh, I, oh, I'm rocking leftovers too. You want to play leftovers game? I'm rocking leftovers too. We both have half-eaten apples. <laughs> but I'm trying to decide now. Do I set the rain here? I might set the rain. So I can do more damage. With my money waters. Because I don't think Starfall... Th will somebody let me know in the comment section down below. Does Misty Terrain make... Uh, what's called do more damage? Or damage from Dragon... Or does it just uh, damage Dragon types? Pokemon on the ground won't get any status conditions. That's fine. Um, but I'm trying to think. Does it make fairy moves do more damage? I'm going to set the rain. I'm going to set the rain. I think rain's going to be the play. He might protect here. Let's see. Yep. He's going to... Oh, no. He's going to substitute here. Okay. That's fine. The good thing we did set the rain. This is actually perfect time to set the rain. Because we can't... We'll just, we'll just take out the substitute and we'll get the rain rolling. That's totally fine. Now I can just muddy water. Muddy water. Substitute fades out. And we do some damage. A solid sub by him, but we get weather control. Leftovers popping. We're all getting HP. We're all having fun with this one. I think I just dropped some muddy waters. We got the stab. We got the rain boost. 
I think I think you know, this one's a good battle. This is a good first battle for today's video. I'm digging with it. I'm rolling with it. Let's get after it. Top of Finny. Love you. We're gonna hit him muddy water here. I could drop accuracy too, so maybe he can miss a shot if we get the accuracy drop. He's gonna be able to outspeed me. We've been seeing that all game. Make a move, man. Make a move! But it's crazy. Once you get set up with the Calyrex Ice Rider or Shadow Rider, you can absolutely sweep matches. He's gonna go for an Astral Barrage. Can you eat? Can you eat, Finny? You can. Finny, pick up the KO here. This game is garbage. <sighs> this game, man. This game, I really missed my muddy water. Come on, come on. I would have had a chance at KO, and that match would have been so much closer. We could have potentially got an accuracy drop too, but we end up losing because of a missed attack. We go 0 1, we can hop into our second battle and try to get a win for this video. All I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, is what do you mean? What you mean? Like, what was that? We really missed that last attack. I battled my heart out, tried to get ourselves that win, all for a muddy water to miss an attack and potentially lose us that match. But it's all good. We're going to make it up here. Hopping into our second battle, going up against the Zama Zeta team alongside with Mr. Rhyme. You know, I haven't seen this dude in forever. He has Galarian Zapdos, uh, like I said, Zama Zeta, and then he has uh, Landorus in a different form. Uh, he usually runs uh, like coverage moves, I believe. It has sheer force as its ability. So it's not intimidate. It also has the Raichu in the Rillaboom. Okay, so Incineroar definitely coming out here. Incineroar 100% getting the lead. Actually, mm, Defiant Galarian Moltres. Good thing I remember that. Um, Okay, I could lead Finny. Or I could lead Calyrex. I think I'm going to lead Calyrex and Regilecki. Get rolling in with that. Bring Incineroar in the back end. Definitely bring Incineroar in the back end. And then do I bring Finny as our final? Kartana could come in here. Finny could come in here. Or I could go Moltres. I don't think Moltres is too bad, but uh, what do I want? I'm gonna go Moltres here. I'm gonna rock out with the Moltres. I'm gonna get Moltres buzzing up in here. But good thing I did remember in that last instance that uh, Glary Moltres or Glary Zapdos is defiant. So I was gonna lead Incineroar. Could you imagine if I led Incineroar and he led Glary and Zapdos? That would have just been GG's. He would have Dynamax potentially ran me. Could have went for a uh, Airstream, get the speed boost, and then he speed boost it and attack boost it. Let's see if he does lead the Glarians out there. He does. Yeah. Good call by Jeans. Good call by Jeans to actually roll out with that. He's going to be able to fake me out. Uh, I think I'm going to Dynamax and drop Ice. I think that's going to be the play. I think I'm going to Dynamax and drop Ice onto the, the bird. And try to get rolling from there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get after this bird. Get after this bird. And then I could just E-Web. No, he's probably Lightning Rod. So I am going to set up a nice little reflect here. I'm just going to set up Shrooms. And then if I have to swap, I can swap later. Gotta remember, that thing's lightning rod. And I want to give it lightning rod. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. He's gonna Dynamax. Is he Dynamax and Bird? I think he's Dynamax and Bird, man. He's gonna Dynamax Bird guy. I'm a Dynamax horse guy. He's gonna fake me out with Mouse guy. And Electric Current guy is gonna get flinched. So that's gonna be the turn. That is going to be the turn. Big Bird yelling, yo, dude. I love this thing. I love how they made it an ostrich. I love the way you catch Glarian Moltres, a uh, Glarian Articuno, and Glarian Zapdos. Is you actually have to like go to different islands and find them and chase them down. Like I love when you're uh, getting uh, Glarian Zapdos. He's just humming. He's like with his long legs. Like, dude, slow down, man. You like had like an energy drink before before we showed up to the island. <laughs> Let's see, is Fake Out coming out here? Yep. Oh, yo, oh, okay, okay. You faking out on me? So I'm gonna be able to get off this reflect. Thank you very much. You're freaking out me. Yo, come on. Should have known I was Dynamax. And he's going to go for a Knuckle. Thank you very much. We have that Reflect set up, so that's going to be nice. We're going to be able to eat. We're going to be able to eat. He is going to get a plus one attack. If he can't fake me out now, I might just hard swap next turn. My boy eats. And we're going to get off some big damage with this Hailstorm. Get off this Hailstorm. Can we pick up a KO with this? That'd be gorgeous. Oh, that's GG's. This game's over. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. His Dynamax is gone. We're going up plus one. We have a Reflect set up. If he goes to a special attacker, I'll set up a Life Train. If not, I'm hard swapping into my Incinemore. Yo, wrap it up. This game's over. Your boy's going to run it. Your boy's going to run it. There's our plus one attack. We have Weather Control. Yo, I like this. I like this horse guy. 
Uh, if Raichu was Sash, is Sash is gone? Which probably he was Sash, if I had to guess. You did a bad fake out. You did a bad fake out. Not even gonna lie. Usually I do pretty good on fake outs. That's the first thing I think is if he's gonna Dynamax a Pokemon, who's he gonna be? And then I do not fake it out. Just for that instance. So he's gonna get that defense boost. That's totally fine. Um, this thing's physical attacking, so I am going to swap into my Raichu. Or not my Raichu. My uh, instant roar. After I go into an attack. I could knuckle. Could knuckle could I could knuckle buckle. Or or I can do this. If I knuckle, do I pick it? Do you, do you guys think I can pick a KO? No, I'd rather just go for the Hailstorm, guarantee myself the KO with the Raichu, and swap it to my Incineroar. So I was going to I was gonna go for the Knuckle and try to pick up the KO and get the attack boost so I get a plus two, but I'd rather play it safe. Just go Hailstorm, because I know Hailstorm will be able to take it out with plus one. And roll out from there. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. So then, Behemoth Bash can come out here. Oh, this does double damage. Hold up. Leave me alone. Okay, we eat. We, we're bulking. We are bulky, bulky. That scared me. I was like, I think we're dead. He's gonna e web. That's fine. That's fine. I thought we were dead. I really did. But now I know we can eat up another Behemoth Bash. And I could fake out the next Pokemon. I can fake out whoever I want. This Sinor just came out again, which is lovely. You're dead. Get him out of here. We go a plus two, which is huge. But yo, that scared me for a second. I was like, no way I'm going to lose this match because this Behemoth Bash is going to do double damage. KO my Calyrex and he's just going to run me. <laughs> but now we're sitting real good. We're sitting real good. Because you guys know, every time I usually talk about, oh, yo, we got this one in the bag, I end up losing. The guy just outplays me and then wins. I'm like, my jaws just dropped on the ground. I'm like, yo, how? How? But he, oh my god, yo, this is this this one's too easy for us. This one's too easy for us. This one's way too easy for us. Fake you out. Fake you out. This one's too easy for us. Calyrex is so good. <laughs> hey yo, Zamazetta, get faked out. We're gonna we're gonna uh, KO this thing. He's gonna go for an Earth Power. We should be able to eat that up. Yes sir. Thank you, Calyrex. Hailstorm comes out. We say, hey yo, you're done. Get him out of here. Drop you down. Hailstorm's just dominating with Calyrex. Like I said, once you set up with these things, I said it in the last battle. Once you set up with these guys, you can just run a battle. That's how I knew. Once I took out that uh that Galarian Zapdos Dynamax, I was like, dude, it's over with. We're plus one, and we were able to do that much damage. And he brought in a squad like this where we can just uh, run with uh with my boy. Just just big mistakes by him. Big mistakes by him. But I can't really say much because I struggled to play up against Calyrex as, as well. They're just really tough to play up against. They really are. Then we're going to be able to go into close combat and a Flare Blitz. And I think he's going to run this one and we're going to get the sweep. Or is he not going to let me get the sweep? He does cancel it and we get that clean sweep with Calyrex for the second battle. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record for the jeans. Online karma community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. We got 30 seconds left to pick my team. I took a little bit to uh, actually start recording this one. But we're rolling here. He has the Solgaleo team. And I see that instant or he has that potential intimidate. I am gonna leave my intimidate. Well, you know what? No, no, no. Yeah, I was gonna say we could let uh, them just pick our team. But I think we're fine going into this, bringing Calyrex, and I'm definitely gonna bring Cartana here. I'm definitely bringing in Cartana. Cartana's gonna be able to rock out up against that uh, Suicune and that Top of Finny. Maybe I should have led the uh, Cartana because I think he's gonna lead the Suicune. But I could see him leading the Mimikyu alongside with the Incineroar. But that's the reason I did not lead the Calyrex. Was because of that Incineroar. Because if he if he goes into that Intimidate, that can really uh that can really bug us up for the match. But he goes Grimstar and Mimikyu. We could have went too. We could have went to our Intimidate. We could have did this. We could have got along with him. Oh, we did go into our Incineroar. Oh my god, yo, I love this. Is this what happened in battle number one? Right? This exact matchup? And I just started e-webbing, and we missed. Yeah, this is the exact matchup. So, yeah, I'm just going to fake out on Grimmsnarl. Hey, yo, if it's not broke, don't... Or if it's... What, what's the saying? If it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Why would we change up what we're doing? We're going to go with the same moves. We're going to go with the fake out. Hopefully, we do not miss our Electro Web this turn. Electro Web comes out, and we land. Let's go. Second time around is always better. We get the Disguise off, and we uh, do some damage on that Grimmsnarl. I'm really like, is, is he rolling Thunder Wave? Is he going to do that same thing? This guy's popping down. 
And are you going for T waves? What, what are you going for? He's going to trick him. So he is going to go for a lovely little trick him, which Calyrex can thrive out of. Loves it. Calyrex is going to be able to do some work. I could put him shot. But, but. I am going to pardon shot. I'm going to pardon shot on you. And I am just going to drop a. Nah, I'm not going to E web. Good reflect. Hmm. I'm just going to start setting up screens. I'm going to start setting up screens to protect my Calyrex. I kind of want the Volt Switch out, but screen's going to be the way to go. We're screens in, and we're going to say Mimikyu. We're going to take your attack out of here. I take your attack out of here and keep Incineroar for a back end. Because I love being able to swap out into Incineroar and all that. Okay, so cool. He's going to swap out the Mimikyu. So his Incineroar is going to come out here. He's going to get minus one. That's fine. Incineroar swapping out. And we're going to get a party shot on that thing. And we are going to be able to set up a Reflect, which is huge. And then I can Dynamax my boy next turn. And I could knuckle on to him. Light screen setting up. Setting up screens that are full of light. The party shot's coming out here. We're saying, hey, yo. Minus your attack. We swapping out. We'll be able to get out Calyrex, and Calyrex's speed's very low. Very low, so Trickroom's gonna actually help me out. And I'm surprised he went to Trickroom. For what? For what? Let me see a sync speed. Let me see a sync speed. Yeah, bro. Thanks for Trickroom. Thank you so much for that Trickroom. We're 49 speed. We were getting outsped by Pokemon that were minus 2 in speed. Like, that's how you know we're slow. When someone's minus 2 in speed and you're still getting outsped, it's like, bro, come on. You are dumpster slow. You were slower then syrup going on pancakes, which are absolutely delicious. Pancakes and waffles are my favorite meal. All time. Top three, I, mean, I should say. Because I can't decide on one. But yeah, definitely top tier for me. Uh, do I knuckle buckle? I'm going to knuckle buckle. <laughs> I love calling that because I can see him parting shot in me and all from there. I do have a reflex set up. Uh, I think I might just E-Web. Or I might Volt Switch out. I'm going to Volt Switch out. Grip Snarl, get out of here. I'm going to Volt Switch onto the Snarl slot. And we're going to roll from there. And we are going to roll from there. I think he's going to fake me out, which is totally fine. I get this nice little knuckle off. And there's no way he swaps into Mimikyu thinking I'm going into a knuckle. I think he swaps into the Mimikyu next turn. I think he's going to try to parting shot on me, but I am slowest now, which is awesome. There's no way he swaps into Mimikyu on the instant slot right here. I see him faking out my uh, Regilecki. He's not going to fake out, or does Reflect just come out before the fake out? Reflect comes out. And he's not going to be. He might try to put on a Willow Wisp here. Here goes my knuckle. Reflect totally helps him out there. We are going to go up plus one. I think he's going to try a parting shot on me. Which is fine. That's exactly why I went for a knuckle. So I can kind of neglect that. And are you parting shotting, man? He is. So good thing I went for that knuckle. We got off big damage. And we just canceled out that parting shot. So we went up plus one. We went down minus one. So we evened out. Okay. So now I get a free Volt Switch. And I am going to hop back into Incineroar. Which is dandy. He does have a reflect up. Hmm. But I'm just starting to do pester damage uh, ripping around. So he's going to go back on the Mimikyu. That's totally fine. And Mimikyu's disguise is gone. Full switch can come out here. Oh, it does end up picking up KO. It gets a crit. Okay, I'll take that. Because I was going to be like, okay, it's going to bring it down to near red. And I was going to take that thing out with a Knuckle Gall plus two. My, uh, well, my Calyrex. But my boy just does it all by himself. Um. Hmm. Let's call here. Do I go Incineroar? Or do I go Cartana? Because if he has a Finny in the back, I kind of want to leave my Cartana. I think we're going to go Incineroar for Incineroar here. I think that's going to be a play. And then in that case, I just knuckle up onto his Incineroar. But I don't think this thing's rocking out, I switch. Yeah, so we're going to go Incineroar for Incineroar, and I am just going to knuckle over onto that thing and fake out his Incineroar. Do I fake out his Incineroar? I am slow, so I don't think I have to fake out his Incineroar. He's probably going to try to fake out me. Actually, yeah, I am going to fake him out. I'm going to knuckle over on him, pick up the KO. It could taunt. You know, I'm just going to parting shot. If I get off a parting shot, that would be the play. But you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a parting shot. I know he's gonna fake me out. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I don't really care. All I know is his instant or goes down, and I go up plus two. If I go up plus two here, if your boy goes up plus two here, and I have one Dynamax turn, I can take out his Pokemon that he wants to Dynamax. 
And he cannot swap out of that Mimikyu once his instant order is gone. But yeah, he goes for fake out. That's totally fine. What's he gonna burn me? I don't think he's gonna burn me, are you? Max Uncle comes out here. We're gonna go up plus two, which is huge. We have one more turn in Dynamax. So the play here is not to really worry about the Mimikyu too, too much. I don't think I have to. It's minus one. Set up to trick him for us. I need to worry about his final mod. His Mimikyu cannot swap out. Cannot swap out. Cannot get rid of that minus one. But it's huge for us. Chilling Nate's gonna boost. We're plus two. I got a big Dynamax turn coming up ahead of me. But my real question is, does he guard this next turn? We go back down to zero. So smart play by him. He goes into the charm. Can't believe this thing's rocket charm. We're back down to zero. That is wet. I do not like that at all. Alright, who's your final mom? Please show me Suicune or Tapu Fini. Solgaleo. Ruffles. Oh, beautiful news though. Shiny Solgaleo is looking amazing. Okay, uh, play. Play here is going to be, uh, I drop you. I cannot parting shot. Parting shot's going to do nothing. Uh, that thing could be policy. I might double up into the Mimikyu slot. Yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of this Mimikyu. Make it a 4v1 situation. But I might proc policy if I KO this thing right here. He's going to Dynamax. He might guard. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his plays. I hope he guards. I really do hope he guards. That will waste a turn and be better for us. But I do not count this battle over yet. This Solgaleo can sweep me. It can sweep me, no problem. I cannot get my I cannot minus his stats either, which stinks because of its full metal body ability. It's gonna be a good one. This one is going to be actually closer than I really think it should be. So who do I have in the back? I have Cartana and Do I have Finny? I might have Finny in the back. I how do I forget who I picked? I might have Finny in the back end. Which stinks. This thing's steel. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Here's my hailstorm. Let me take out this Mimikyu in one shot. I'd probably rather have this thing down in one shot. Get rid of it. No, we do not. Okay, we are Flare Blitzing into that. So hopefully the Flare Blitz can pick up the KO. No, a minus one, though. I don't think Flare Blitz is going to pick up the KO. Maybe with the Buffets? I would love to get rid of this Mimikyu here. Flare Blitz comes out. Let's just pick up the KO here. So he doesn't charm or do anything to me. Go ahead and send him. Do him dirty. Mm, I don't even think Buffet's going to do it dirty. He's going to be able to charm up on me again. He's going to go for a Rock Ball. Oh, chill on me, man. He's going to go after my Incineroar. Leave him alone. He eats, yo. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If I can waste out these Dynamax turns, we can win this one. But I still have another turn with my boy right here. I think he's just going to charm me again. My biggie berry. Yo, the berry! I love forgetting about the berry and then getting it back. I'm like, yes, more HP. <laughs> he's going to set the trick room. Okay. All right, I see you. Maybe he gets buffed by Sandstorms. Oh my god, so close. So close yet so far. So Mimikyu's gonna go down to Sandstorm Buffets. Smart trick room by him. Um, okay. We're wasting out we're wasting out turns here all day. We're wasting out a lot of turns here. And again, he goes down. Actually, I'd rather get the attack boost. I'm gonna go do that. And then I guess I'll try to flare blitz. I mean, I guess I'll try. But he's gonna take speed here. He's gonna take speed all day. Both his Pokemon are gonna be able to outspeed me. Mark play, yo. That Mimikyu has got a free focus sash. Look at that thing. Sitting on one. Maybe a half. Maybe even a quarter of one. That's how low it is. Just disrespecting me. Just sitting there, like, laughing at me because it's on one HP. But he's going to come out here for the special defense boost. I do have a physical attack with Cartana in the back. And the Incineroar is going to drop. The smart play by him for him to go into that. Um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't think What's Called can take me out. I don't think Mimikyu can take out my Calyrex. But I should be able to go plus one attack unless he charms me. He's gonna fling. He's gonna fling. Oh, it's, he's gonna fling. It's berry. Okay, and he's gonna proc policy. He's gonna eat this berry. Oh no, he just gives it a berry. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa. That was cool. That was actually really cool. That was really cool. Not even, not even gonna front. He's plus three now. Not even gonna front. That was so cool. That was one of the coolest things I've seen. So we're plus one now. I kind of like. kind of digging. Do I trick him? I think he's going to come after me. That was really cool. He flung a berry over there. We have Regilecki. Um, there's still screens. So I could start slowing it down. They have Cartana for the back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out with you. 
Um, how many turns is left in my screens? That's my real question. How many turns left in my screens? We have three turns left in Reflect. Okay, so in that case, we're going to go for a high horsepower. And we are just going to start E-Webbing. We're going to start E-Webbing, start lowering the sync speed. So this is our only play we can make. Get his speed down. Oh my god, this thing's scary. He's just going to take me out. There goes Steel Spike. Go after Regilecki. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, dude, I told you this one's not over yet. Just got to keep slowing it down, going into some Sacred Swords. He is going to defense boost, though. There's plus one on defense boost, plus one on special defense. That's helping him out against both my Pokemon. Dude, this is a good battle. This is real good. This is a really good battle. Ogelia is really strong. He's really good. Kartana's getting out here, a little paper origami still guy. I don't even know what to call him. Like, what is he? <laughs> it doesn't look like he uses origami, but in steel. Like, flimsy steel. Taker Sword's gonna have to come out here. Oh, the target. Oh, the target stat changes don't affect this, this damage. Ooh, so defense boost is gonna go towards it. I'm gonna e web hit up him again, just so. And slow him down a little bit. Make sure my boys are out speeding him. Doing some damage. Here goes my Sacred Sword. How much damage can we do with this? Mmm. 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 Don't like it one bit. EQ's coming out here. That's going to that's gonna be game. That's going to be game. Oh my lord. Yo, so Galio clutching up. That's why I said. I said I can see him clutching up. This one's over with, man. One is over with. Yo, GG to this guy. So Galio clutch up. with that fling, though? That fling. If he never had fling, we were winning that game. Come to think of it, if he did not survive on his free focus hash, we win this game. That's a fact. That is a fact. But GG to that guy. I kind of saw this coming. I kind of saw everything starting to form into place. I saw that he was going to actually come back and have a big battle here. But nothing we can really do about it. Have some strong battles. Get a good sweep in today's video and go one and two. Very strong team we got to show up today. The first battle was awesome. We had a missed Muddy Water, which potentially could have won us the match. I'm not too sure. That would have been very, very close. The second battle, we dominated. We had a clean sweep with Calyrex. We set him up with the uh, Max Knuckle attack boost alongside with the Chilling Nay. We got a double attack boost, and we rolled out, and we dominated that battle. And then in the third and final battle, that one was also close. That Mimikyu survived on one HP, flinged the berry over there, proc beast policy, and got an extra attack boost from the berry, and won him that match. So say that Mimikyu goes down, we win that match. Say that Muddy Water hits, we potentially win that match too. Awesome set of battles, we go one and two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.